Almost 20 years ago, the National Law Enforcement Officers Memorial was dedicated by President George H.W. Bush in Washington, D.C. Today, the memorial remains a proud and necessary tribute to those American law enforcement officers who have made the ultimate sacrifice. Engravers Kirk Bachman and Jim Lee of Engraverite in Colorado arrived in Washington, D.C. last month to begin the meticulous process of re-engraving and re-staining all 18,983 names on the memorial. We've done every name here, and it is a national memorial. It is in Washington, D.C close to the Capitol building and the mall, and I mean, um, and the purpose served, you know, of, of uh, just the aggregate cost and the dedication and the sacrifice that law enforcement makes. It, 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 it's just a very meaningful, powerful place. Time, however, is beginning to take its toll on the monument. A combination of factors, weather, tree sap, and other deposits have caused many of the names to begin to fade. While the memorial remains a beautiful place of honor for America's law enforcement heroes, improvements need to be made to ensure the memorial's walls never diminish. The restoration process really started almost a year ago when we made an archival record of the memorial. Taking the stencil and you're actually looking through the stencil, aligning it letter by letter, <laughs> line by line, so that you get, you get a match letter. You don't want to be uh, uh, off one direction or the other or up or down because you would get a ghost image so it has to be done very exact once you apply that stencil then you would sandblast it and then apply the new color that that they wanted to have in the memorial this system here uh, the paint is um, two applications with uh, curing times of 12 hours and 48 hours so they really have to be uh, covered up and protected during that period of time while the paint cures I'm not, I'm not aware of uh, <laughs> this this many names and this type of uh, realignment into an existing stone, not at this time, I don't. There's very few memorials that have, what is 18,983 names total, um, and they're rather small letters. Uh, probably most memorials could be hand paintable. Um, this is an entirely different situation, but likewise, I'm. I've never heard of a restoration to this degree in this complexity uh, before.